if. Mm -hmm. um, as a federal witness and an informant, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, your whole thought was that no one knows, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. You kept this under wraps, you covered it up, and um, you're going to keep me homeless, and you're not going to enforce my rights, and you're not going to give me my sons, and you're not going to let me speak to Marilyn. <laughs> But I thought there might be a lawsuit in here, and since I only have about 10 minutes, I thought, well, maybe there is. The performance bond. Oh, the upfront performance bond. Pooch. You know, I've often talked about um, the actual debt of each and every county, state, and city of the United States. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those municipal bonds that you think are so important. Pooch. Well, let's look at the performance bonds. Could you get me the debt again? Mm -hmm. The interest rate that's being paid. And then you're covering up, yes, of the actual lawsuits that you should have received for the last two and a half years. Yes. And all of those investors, because I've already talked about this before, mm -hmm. but there must be something, in, well, significant about a performance bond. <laughs> A bond given by a surety to ensure the timely performance of a contract. Oh, so it's different than a municipal bond. It's something where you have a, a contractual, you have a, a breach of contract and retaliation against a federal witness. Ooh. Major international agreements, performance bonds are typically issued by banks, but Sometimes also by insurance companies, the face amount of the bond is typically 2% of the value of performance, <laughs> occasionally 5%. <laughs> why, don't, why, don't, why, don't, why don't you give me those performance uh, bonds? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, third parties agreement to guarantee the completion of a construction contract upon the defaults of the general contractor. Oh, all that architecture? Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you get me all the contracts for all building in each city? Yes. County? Yeah. State? Oops. Tribal government and the federal government and all the architects of the last 40 years of everything that's been built? Yes. That you had to have a performance bond to be able to be a contractor to build it. Mm. Now, it doesn't take a whole lot of intellectual ability to understand? Yes. That if you as a contractor do not perform as contractually agreed, yes, that they can sue the guarantee that issued the bond, yes, for the amount of monies that you're costing each and every state. Now, why don't you tell me about all your building projects? Well, I tell you, it's against the law to retaliate against a federal witness. You decide to make up crimes where I wasn't in Brennan. Yes. I email you every day and you sit there saying, well, no one knows about this. <laughs> There's no possible way that it could affect um, the actual building of every city, county, state, tribal government, and the federal government. I look through all the options. Why don't you get me all the bonds of every contract to build everywhere in this nation? <laughs> now, for all of those contractors, yes. Thank you, Dr. Pooch. You know, a lot of real estate deals are done so as to make money. <laughs> a lot of those that are physicians that are salaried employees, yes. And I'm not supporting one candidate or not. <laughs> but when you have a building boom, yes, mm -hmm. where you could flip a house in two weeks and make $100,000 if you did it right. Yes. They have these um, lease to owns and then you have an option to purchase. Yes. <laughs> I remember in the 90, well, no, it was the 2000s. I, I had a house in Squim, Washington. Mm -hmm. Paid 85000 for it when I got married in 99. Yes. In six short years, I sold it for 150000 Housing prices were going up. Ouch. And depending on how you use leverage, because I do understand how leverage works, yes, just having the option to purchase the property and having the option for six months because somebody says, well, the housing prices are they're just way out of sight. You could sell the option for $600,000 worth of profit. So we got to be real careful about exactly how people made money when they made money. <laughs> 
for all of those in real estate that do understand how you got to be careful about exactly how you explain how the money was made. I did know a lot of mortgage loan officers, right? Complete IRA. Thank you, Joshua Sharp. Did you know you can buy real estate in a tax deferred account <laughs> using non recourse lending? Ouch. In fact, you can buy the option to buy real estate in a non in a in a, a tax deferred account. Yes, you can. <laughs> There's a lot that you can do with investments that a lot of people don't know about. Isn't that right, doctor? Isn't that right, doctor? Isn't that right? Now, when we get the performance bonds for each and every state of the United States, yes, give me all those lease to owns. Yes, all those options to purchase. <clears throat> And all those real estate investors that do understand leverage. <laughs> because I myself do understand so you got to be careful about exactly when the purchase happened. Did it happen with your own money? You mean you financed 100%? Yes. The actual property value was $2 million? Yes. You held the property for approximately one year? You bailed out at $2.6 million? Yes. And you didn't invest any of your own money? How did you do it? Do you remember that during 2005 to 2015? You've got to be very careful when understanding the actual uh, terms of purchase and then ownership, mm -hmm. the buying and selling. Yeah, you got to be careful with this. Mm. You know, if you ever use any fraudulent, um, well, election advertising, yes. Well, you allege that a certain investor did this and they made all this money and it was all illegal. <laughs> then you find out it was from, oh, maybe 2007 to 2009, you know, when when prices were skyrocketing in Seattle. Ooch, ooch, ooch. I had known people that it seemed like overnight they went from homeless to trillionaire. 